Hey everyone, welcome back. Another anime review. Now, this is kind of an interesting one because even though I do like good writing and good story, good characters and stuff in my anime, every once in a while I do like to watch a good fan service anime, alright? Just to, you know, kick back and relax while I'm watching anime. And today's anime was just that. It was really only seven episodes long, eight if you count the uh, special truck trial. Each episode was called a trial. It's technically eight episodes if you count the special trial. But seven main episodes. The special trial, although it's still kind of good, is not required for the main story. This is, of course, Agent Ika. An 80s anime, and so far the oldest anime I've actually reviewed on my channel. Um, by the way, I'm going to talk about the dub real first quick. The dub's not good at all. But I do recommend that you watch it, the, it dubbed just because of how fucking hilarious that it is dubbed. Okay? I really do. <laughs> Anyways, though. So, yes. Agent Ika. Now, I'm going to talk about the story here, obviously. But the story... Like, that's not the reason why you watch Agent Ika. But, obviously. But I'm going to talk about it just real quick anyway, though. The story of Agent Ika, simply put, takes place in, during an undetermined amount of time in the future, really, when basically the world has flooded. That's the plot of Agent Ika. At least that's the only bit of the plot I could pick up. There's obviously some villains here who have their own motives. I didn't completely understand them at all. So, really, yeah. But you don't watch this anime for the plot or the characters. You watch this anime for the fan service, obviously. And Agent Ika is one of those anime that is no most, the most notorious for its fucking fan service. Because it's not just, you know, standard, you know, cleavage shots or panty shots, although there's plenty of those too. Um, no, but it's not. J and, you know, you know, not just like women in skimpy clothes, all those playing that too. No, it's not just that. There's literally so many scenes where women are not only fucking completely naked, and you get clear tit shots and ass shots. Nothing censored in that regard. Okay, but they also fight every now and then like that. That's the extent of this fan service, but it was obviously intentional, obviously pandering. And they obviously knew what they were doing with it because any good fan service show doesn't try to make up a reason for the fan service. Okay. In fact, that is the worst thing that you can do if you're making a fan service show is try to justify the fan service. All right, you don't fucking do that. And this series knows that very well. It doesn't try to, do, to actually justify its fan service. It's just there for the men. <laughs> and I have to say I enjoyed it. And that's really the reason why I watched this, watched this anime. Okay, the plot is there, you know, I mean, just because they had to put something there, I guess. But there's nothing in the plot that tries to justify the fan service, which once again is really fucking good. Um, the uh, characters are there too, and they are all bland, boring, and lifeless. They ha they are all one fucking dimensional. They have no personality. What's or well, they have personality. They have one personality. That you know, one dimensional. Okay, and they're kind of just there to fight. And and in terms of the women, they're there to fight and give us guys fan service, which they do splendidly. But, so, so yeah. Now, I'm not really going to fault the series for this, though. Because, like I said before, that's not why you watch Agent Ike. You watch it for the fan service. Okay, the music's pretty good. Nothing too outstanding. Okay. Uh, that animation sucks ass, but that's probably due to its age. Like, it's so fucking bad, 99% of the time, it looks pathetic at times, but this is an 80s anime, you have to remember, back in the 80s, you, 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 would, you would be extremely fucking hard pressed to find good animation in anime back then. I'm going to be completely fucking honest with you now, alright? Uh, the art is okay, it's nothing too great, but it's it works, um, it's 
there was a lot of anime back in the 80s that looked that had the same art style as this so yeah I already mentioned the dub before I did watch a little bit of the sub the subs obviously well I, I'd imagine it's still not too good, although like I've said before, I don't speak Japanese, so I don't know what constitutes as good or bad Japanese voice acting, even though I'm pretty sure that distinction does exist if you speak Japanese or are Japanese. So, yes, but the dub is awful, but it's that kind of awful that makes me love it so much because it's so fucking hilarious, really. Now, and in terms of the fan service, like, I talked about how extreme this fan service is earlier in this video but if you haven't seen it then you don't fucking know it's like I couldn't I don't see how someone could actually do a review of this on YouTube with clips due to how but due to how extreme it is like there were entire scenes where I thought this was actually going to go into fucking hentai mode okay I really did <laughs> that's how bad it was got at times so it, again it knows what it is like, it puts a plot and characters there just for the hell of it, but the fan service is obviously the reason it was made, okay? And that's why you go into it, so obviously... Well, then if you're a huge anime fan like I am, you probably have at least heard of this series and how fucking notorious that its fan service is. So you probably don't need me to explain that to you, okay? At least I hope not. <sighs> so yes, but I liked Agent Ika, okay? I really did. Its plot was extraordinarily shallow and almost non-existent. The characters were all one-dimensional, shallow, boring, bland, and lifeless. The music was okay, the art was okay, the dub was laughably bad, but for what it is, it knows what it's trying to be, and it doesn't try to be anything else, which is why that I really enjoy this series, and if you're looking for a fan, good fan service series to watch, I really don't think you can find a better one anywhere else. Except for maybe Ikitosin. I haven't watched Ikitosin yet, so I couldn't really tell you. But this is definitely one of the best, if that's what you're looking for. Alright. I think we will wrap up this review. I know it wasn't a very long one, but... There's not a whole lot for me to really say about this uh, series, though. You know because of its nature but anyways overall hope you, i do recommend it if you're looking for this type of series though so anyways overall hope you enjoyed this review guys see you after guys thanks for watching Bye -bye.